Hi everyone. Hi, it's Jace Time Right X. I'm in the world of GT Online here with another GT Online video. As you know, I've been carrying out the UFO sighting series, a part of the Halloween update and content we're getting. Now, today being day 9 or 10, there is a special event. Here at the military base, we find ourselves looking at the stealth UFO. There is also another UFO which is on the map as well, we'll take a quick look at that now. But as you can see, a little different stealth being black. It looks pretty cool, it's here at Fort San Kuto, you can see right behind me. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. by using the camera. Oh wow. Look at the shape of that. That that's amazing. Oh there's what's that underneath it as well? So confirmed it is a totally different looking UFO. It appears between ten PM and four AM GTA time. This will happen every 48 hours, every 48 minutes on GT Online, so you'll be able to see this plenty of time to see this. But this UFO is only going to be here once this Halloween content, so event, so it's got it's, you'll never see this one again. Let's check out where it is on the map. We're all the way up here. Fort San Kuto is right here. And this is where the stealth UFO is. I'm going to take a picture of it and then we'll try to get a bit closer to it, see if we can get a wee bit more, bit more detail on it. Because it does look a bit more different, a bit sick. It looks actually pretty cool. And then we'll also have to make time for this other one as well, which is over here. Which is the second one. So two UFOs today. Which is... Just shows it's going to escalate. So let's have another look at it. Well, let's go and check out what it's like underneath. I thought I saw something moving. Yep, you can see that there. Very interesting. Don't know how much closer I can get without it with it. Making it disappear. I don't think we'll get any more detail out of that. It's pretty cool though. Okay, so let's see, let's go and see, let's go and confirm if we actually get the amount of money we think we're going to get for it. We, I heard that you get, uh, you get 50k for taking a picture of this one. So let's give Amiga what he wants. He'll be really excited by this one, I bet you. Just got to take these glasses off as well there. I don't want to ruin I want them to see my gorgeous face. Uh, we have two ships to take pictures of and only a certain month, number of time, but there you go, this should be better. Oh, this looks like sloppy there now. As you can see, black, awesome. Let's give uh, Omega what he wants to get a selfie with the UFO. Let's send it to Omega. There we go guys, 50k for taking a picture of the stealth UFO. Let's have a look. This 
is this a image accurate? It is an unusual craft. So even Imiga knows it's a different craft. So let's go and jump into our helicopter and uh, check it out. So you can also see that over here you can, we've got the second UFO. I'd like to get a bit closer look at that one. But let's see what this does if we get closer to it. I'm going to take a risk here, I'm going to skydive towards it so you can get a bit more detail on it. I think that would be the best idea. There goes my sparrow. Wow, look at the shape of that. Oh, looks like it's time for it to go. So, yeah, confirmed this uh, this one also disappears. But that's a, that was a pretty cool shape. I, I did manage to get the... Underneath it, but you did see it's totally different. We've got about... Five minutes to get to the other side of the map. <laughs> this might not be the best picturesque one. We'll see how we get there. So we're heading towards this area here. Take the new uh, Safari Comet that I bought, which I'll be doing a customization video on. Just working on the details now. I'll be doing testing what's like on road, high speed, within the city as well, on grass on mud, that kind of thing, so if that'll interest you, then you can just keep an eye out on the video. It'll also show you the customizations and what's actually, what the vehicle's like inside. Let's see, we'll take a wee bit of a shortcut here. Exactly what I think the Safari's for. It's a, I would say, a student of all terrains, but a master of none. so we better get a move on. I just want to really see what it's, it's highlighting. So here we are at the UFO, let's have a look at it. Right above us, right here. Looks like it's actually on a barn there, maybe we'll check it out on our time. But here we go, we're going to take a picture of this one. Send it to Amiga. 15k for that one. Let's check out what Amiga says. Confirmation, this is confirmation. The super comic cosmic beings have returned. Let's show you where it is on the map. So this this second GFO is right here. You see where it is. The first one being the stealth UFO, which is over here by Zangudo. Nearly time for it to watch it disappear, so let's watch it disappear. Go back home, report on us to its superiors. And again, every time you hear that thunder, that noise, the flash, you can hear it when it disappears at 4 o'clock or wherever you are in the GTA map. Interesting enough, the other day I was in the office, the CEO office, I could still hear it boom away and flash of lightning, so that's pretty cool. I thought that was very well done. So there you go, guys. Make sure to get this event, 50k 
per character. I don't know if you can do it once or twice, it'd be worth a check. I might just go ahead and do that. Do it twice, see if you can do it twice, get a better view of the selfie UFO, which is, you can see, different shape, different colour. Looks really sick. Hopefully you find this video helpful and informative. Check out the channel for more GTA, RDO and other games from other game developers. Hopefully you have a good day, hopefully you enjoyed the video. But from me, J Samurai X, I am out. So I thought I'd give you a wee bit of a epilogue kind of idea of why the UFO is here. I don't know why it's here, but I thought I'd check it out during the daytime. Let's see if we can see anything why the UFO would come here. And uh, let's get to it. So we can see from the last section of the video it was uh, shining on this barn. Let me see if I can get a better position. So no real reason. I can see. Maybe it's like, you know, Superman's uh, spaceship is in here. Let's call it a message. No way to get in. Let's see, there's a door here. Can we get in this door? No, that look, doesn't look like we can get into there. So that's all I surmise. I surmise that Possibly Superman's spaceships in here and it's sending out a message. Let's see if I can get a better position with the outro. There you go. No kind of space figurines. Nothing like that. No way to get into the building. Just say, just a hut or shed, whatever you call it. But anyway, as I said, it's just here. So let's get to the next part of the video. So here you go, on my second character. Same day, day nine, Stealth UFO is visible. I tried to do it again with my first character and the UFOs didn't appear. So this is a one time per character situation. So if you do it with both characters, you'll get 100k. I'm also noticing I can see the UFO itself the second UFO from this area, so I'm going to see if we can take pictures of both UFOs at the same area. So let's get the phone out. Fifty K, a thousand RP. says the same thing. Is this the image accurate? This is an unusual craft. And let's see if we can do the other UFO from this plate either as well. Looks pretty good. But no, we need to be closer. Quickly get closer to this one, get the picture taken. Maybe it is a time delay thing, maybe you can't do it once one after the other. Let's see if we've got a wee bit more time here. Let's see if we can take the picture and do it here. So there you go. It looks like it was either a location issue or time for processing the payment from the server. 
So we can do it from here, the second BFO. Again, probably test this later in the month when more UFOs are due to appear. Still want to get a better view of this UFO. I want to charge right at it rather than jumping off a parachute. Try to see. Oh, in fact, I'm okay. I don't need. Um, I've got a hanger in the base, so should be good. Touch higher. Let's do it now. Oh, can you do it well because of my dear? Perfect landing, no one saw anything. <laughs> They're in the middle of the San Kuto swamp. Just surviving no more. But at least uh, Mark II is okay, it's not being blown up or anything like that. Uh, there you go. I think we're done with this section of the video.